Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. There is nature and there is the human mind. The human mind operates in extremes, black, white, dry, wet, hot, cold, and uh, eventually when it stabilizes, the mind stabilizes these two opposing elements, it actually stalemates into a nothingness, a lazy place of being. And this is where we don't want to be about this farm. We have the cold of winter, we have the heat of summer, extremes. And we can just say, okay, let's do the nothing concept. Let's put in animals, let them graze, and that's it. This is what is happening all around it. No criticism. I think it's a very valid uh, route to take. But uh, when your mind just works with opposites, Republican, Democrat, uh, it, it leads to this stalemate. And what we do here is we push ourselves not to get trapped into either of the two extremes, neither in the lameness of these extremes, in the middle of these extremes. We truly want to embrace the winter, we truly want to embrace the summer, and this is how we deal with nature. Wow, what a long explanation about something so simple. So the extremes are in our minds. This is how the mind works and not really how nature works. Nature does not label itself in any way. In summer, our fruit trees are growing, our vegetables are growing. In winter, all the grass is growing. So we can exploit, capitalize, use, work with both of those. Somehow it is more difficult for us to work in summer, a lack of water, and then also the extreme heat. 21 days of almost 40 degrees Celsius. It's tough on humans and on plants. Therefore, we work hard to change a few things, to use the water we have. Use the water that does come onto the land. We have a culvert up there, that's the eastern culvert, bringing us a lot of additional supplementary water that we really, we are thankful for. We will bring it down here and then where the white line is, it will cut across. I will close all of this erosion I have created and it will go this way and then uh, it will make an arch to get through this little creek here and then it comes this way goes to where the dogs are 
where Zak the volunteer is removing the khara, the sister's brush. It's a tough job this time of the year. Here is the line and then it will get out on this side just below that swell but I don't want it to go there so it will end here and then I will let it drop down and then the swell will run this way. So that is another project we have to do. We want to work on this while we work on the distribution pond next to the uh, area where the water does enter the land. Exciting times! It's not an either or, it's a both for us. But it's hard work to embrace the both and not to melt down to this singular in between grayness. Till next time, goodbye.